worried by the natural process of menstruation which comes as a big problem to women and girls who uses anything from rags, tree leaves, old clothes, toilet papers, newspapers and cotton wool in the hinterland and some rural communities in Africa to stem the flow of their monthly period. The global team for Abasi People Foundation, APF, embarked on a sensitization campaign on Abasi girl child emancipation, tact and period poverty at Ikor Town and Edonwi community in Eastern Obolo, local government area of Akwaibom State. Recently, selling across deep seas by boats to the respective communities. We are at the edge of the river. We are about to cross uh, via the river to um, Idongwe, in Eco Community, Eastern Obolo local government area. So we are going out there to give the rest of the park. It's already packed up right there, ready to go. And the people of the village are informed of they are already waiting. So this 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 action is about to happen. Receiving the Abasi People Foundation team, the head of Edongwe village. Chief Edwin Akbadiara expressed appreciation for the visits to the community and items donated. I was very happy. Uh, I think it started sometime with uh, Mary Remarkable. Mary Remarkable uh, uh, she, introduced us to you, yes. Yes, yes. She was there with us. Yes. After that, the, the smart gang, yes. they are very friendly. Yes. And today you are here with us. Yes, I'm and we'll continue the relationship. Yes. They're very remarkable introduced yes. us. Yes. So the information came to me last weekend and uh, I was very appreciative of that. Yes, sir. And I informed the women, all of them I got that. Oh. So because of what I have had, even as I was at the other side, I got the information and they were asking whether they should continue to wait. I told them they should wait, that this is the condition which I have had. Yes, yes. And so I now call those ones that were at the water side to come oh, down okay, here okay. so that they can attend to you people yeah, and whatever comes out of that, yes. they will now inform the other people and transfer it to them. Definitely. Yeah. So you are really welcome. Okay. The team visited the marginalized Abbasians with donations of sanitary parts all the way from the United States of America and Europe through the support and leadership of Dr. Victoria Udonwu, Father Uko, Pastor Aloy Peter, Sister Udeme Eko, Mrs. Sunday Afiko, and Mr. Andy Etugudo. Ivan is we are from Abash, you know, from Abashi People Foundation. So Ibani all over all over the world. So we um uh, made you very remarkable. Yes. So yes, so very remarkable. We are dealing with sanitary pads, menstrual pads. So that way, more we use the um a phone. It used toilet paper. It can be used in a in a pad because because if it's not if it, it, it's an case, so we need a towel pad. So for me, you need no a pro 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 way any time back. I put my bag. This is for you on behalf of our bag. People found this on behalf of our bag. People found this. On behalf of our bag. People found this. Thank you. My name is Sarah Sandile. And this is for you on behalf of our city people family. This is on behalf of our city people family. Thank you, Abasi People Foundation. Thank you. She enlightened them on how to make use of the washable sanitary parts. Then on, yeah, continue. It's eco, eco fast. So that that way, my my yeah, like a phone. I might use them. I put them on. I Next month, come on, I I use that. Yes, I need to keep it. I need me no it You know, I need me no it. I'm just one time. They did me guys, so they still use para phone. So my my use para. Yeah, I I need it. So my use kit. Put them on. I want the next day. And I use them the next day. Yeah, for that, for use them then. So that that way, you continue. Sensitizing the women and girls at the community on how to use washable sanitary pads, Dr. Victoria Udonwu regretted that unhygienic practices during menstruation places women at risk of having infection which may pass through the vaginal cavity and enter the bloodstream, creating serious health issues. Because 
um, paper, um, toilet paper, yes. paper towel, for CDO, CD, CDO, CD Sanaki, and I and I use for Sana. The teamwork took the streets of the community in Iko town for a house to house donation of the sanitary parts. <laughs> I was even one day, this Monday is coming. I'm, glad we made you. Oh, I'm, I'm going to pack myself up. But I thank so you, I thank God for our CPK that sponsor for this. I thank them. God bless them in Jesus' name. My message is to tell our school permission thank you for what they are doing for us. To the organizers of this gesture, all the Abasi People's Foundation. We the women over here, we are so, so grateful to receive this gift from them. So we pray the Almighty God who has given them the grace and the strength, the enablement to fish out this to us, the women over here. And give them the grace to give us more because we expect more gifts because we really appreciate this from them. I'm saying this on behalf of the women. Women are very, very grateful and they say a bigger, bigger thank you. <laughs> the team then brought a boat to nearby communities in eastern Abul local government area to continue on the sensitization. Obolo is sticky. Where the tire tools are? Ami and I are in some kind of timber. Some kind of timber. So maybe the timber is of money ban. I don't know. Abolo is sticky. I don't know. Jump it up. At a dawn week, Dr. Rosalind Uduk addressed the women and girls of the dangers of unhygienic practices during the menstruation. And the need to make use of sanitary parts. So that she couldn't can move as in Bani, as you know. So Seran Semine, who can inform Fana, who can inform you, then I will put you Yanaka, who put on him, give me the name. Who to my name, and put on content. That preference where one poor person get out for him. So the roof is the woody. Who fed you with Yakuin and Pontanamo? On Alegan, I am poor, but I will know you. There is no one talking in the the Cradle TV show crew had a one-on-one -on -one interview with the following personalities and beneficiaries at the event. Jesus. <laughs> 
So, Etim Bobo so is speaking. I'm a member of Abasi People Foundation. So, we just finished distributing parts to you know women of Edon Week village here, an island here in Eastern Obolo. So, we just finished and I've observed that it's only one one uh, block building that is there. Other ones are just mud. And of course, such place, they need medical center.